Well, here we are in the early morning hours of the day, and I just got the 74 Marquis Brome that you may have seen in a video I posted late last night. And the anticipation of, well, doing something with it is getting to me, so I had to get up early this morning, and we're gonna do a cold start video here on this and just pull it out of the garage for the first time. Uh, yeah, gotta love the sound of a big block in the morning, right? So let's have at it. All right, here we go. Wow, does that ever look great. Runs great. First time I'm seeing the car in the light. Paint looks wonderful. I did coat the vital top last night. It looks great. Starting to get some morning dew on it. And gotta love the sound of a big block in the morning. Very quiet. Just like you'd expect from a 460. This color, this ginger glamour metallic, looks great in the sunlight, in the early morning hours, especially. Wow. That interior is perfect. The seat belts are even pretty perfect. Let's pop the hood. And for those of you who are wondering what's great about these, as I said, this is the last year of the hardtop meaning there's no B-pillar. Ford stopped that in 74, so watch. By the way, when you operate your windows, especially in the Fords with these torque pins, I highly recommend, I learned this from Tony Lawler of Tony's Car Care in Vandalia, Illinois. You wanna quickly hit it first, like to operate it up, just tap it first, and that takes all the slack out of the system then raise your power window and don't let it hit the stop up here. Stop it about right before it's about to hit the stop and then just bump it up to close it. Sounds extreme, but you know what? You do it and you'll save yourself having to replace the torque pins. 
So. There you go. No B pillar. Let's see if it'll idle down yet. Maybe not. It's cold this morning. No, not yet. Humming away. So cool. Oh, the alternator belt's a little chatty there. That's an easy fix. I do love the previous owner put this motorcraft topper on the battery, which is pretty cool. I think the thermostat may not, may be stuck open. Car seems to run cool. That's an easy fix. Better that it runs cool than hot. Very easy to fix a cool running car. Sometimes hard to fix a hot running one. All right, let's take it for a brief, brief stroll here. All right, here we go. Maiden voyage. This is a big car. Boy, it idles great. Put the windows up. Runs great. Boy, is it cold this morning. <laughs> no missing. Just smooth power. I am not going to get on it because these four barrels from Ford are really temperamental before I rebuild it because I do not want to be stranded right now. They tend to flood out or the secondary stick and I checked it last night and sure enough the secondary air valves uh, are a little sticky. I don't think this carburetor has been rebuilt for a long time but boy for not having been rebuilt in a long time it sure runs great. I mean like really good. What a cool dash. Shift's great. Driving off into the sunlight. Well, heading back home now. Hope you enjoyed. I love the heat in these cars.
So awesome. And for those who have never driven one of these, I can say as a GM lover, a Mopar lover, and a Ford lover, these have the best ride of any car in the 70s. Boy, does the handling stink, but the ride is sublime. And who's going to fly around corners in this, aside from Steve McGarrett? This is identical to the car, well, not identical, that car was black, but... Steve McGarrett in the original 5.0 did have a 74 black hardtop that replaced the 68 Park Lane Brome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video on the 1974 Marquee Brome. Please like and comment as that helps the YouTube algorithm serve this up to more viewers like you. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the circular icon at the top left of the black 67 Buick Riviera, and check out two video thumbnails at the bottom left and right for some suggestions for you. Until next time, thanks again, and take care.